Just a quick look in the box of the Maravox Swedish Fighter FFVS J22AB, which is a funny little thing. I must admit, I don't know anything about this aircraft. Um, I just sort of like the look of uh, look of it, and a uh, very strange boxing, and it's quite an odd uh, manufacturer as well. And getting into the aircraft, getting looking at the instructions first. So this being a bit of a um, odd manufacturer in one sense, um, there are a few strange things that are going on with this. So as you can see the parts breakdown is all on one page um, with, as far as make, put, putting the kit together. So you've got um, six steps uh, to get it up to this position. And um, pretty simple stuff, fuselage goes together, very basic interior, um, canopy on, under the under part of the main wing goes on and then the two top halves go on top of that to mate it to the fuselage and then the engine comes together which is two piece propeller going on undercarriage and then uh, final assembly is complete there are a few marking options so you need to check that first because there's a couple of different um, uh, bits that need to be applied for each one this is slightly interesting um, I think this part you cut out to give it a stand while the undercarriage dries that's the best I could work out from that. I may be wrong, let me know if um, that's different. And there are the marking options here. So you've got, um, I'm not gonna try and pronounce any of this. I think it's even in Swedish, but you've basically got um, a J22B um, and a J22B in 1946 and another B in 1944, um, an A version in 1950 and um, another A version in 1950 as well. And they've got different markings. This one's quite nice, it's got uh, bands across the fuselage in white. So maybe quite uh, of interest. The colour callouts are in Humbrol here, so that's uh, pretty useful because that's they're, they're more or less easy to convert through to different paint manufacturers. So that's those instructions. Now this is an upgraded version of this kit, I believe. It's a re-release, uh, which gives you an etch fret as well, which gives just a bit of um, an update to certain parts. So there's a few parts going into the cockpit here. You've got sidewalls, harnesses, and a uh, instrument panel, as well as louvers here for the uh, cowling, and a couple parts going on the inside of the canopy. And then just a couple parts on the airframe, um, airframe here. So you've got uh, some aerials on the top here of the fuselage, and then you've got some walkways going on to the wing root area, and then some small parts going on uh, around the undercarriage. Pretty standard stuff. Here you can see the cockpit side uh, side walls and the instrument panel. It's all very nice. Uh, there is there isn't any film there for the instrument panel, so they're hollow. Uh, there might. It's meant to have been, but I've not got any in this kit, so I'll um, check that. Uh, and here you can see the louvers here to go around the uh, cowling, and the walkway for the wing route, and a few other bits. So it's a very nice piece of etch fret there. And we've got the one piece clear parts, which... Uh, pretty hard to describe. Um, they're a cross between injection, it is injection moulded plastic but it feels more like a vac form. Um, it's very sort of brittle. It's got a strange feeling to it um, and it's quite, I don't know, it's quite undefined and a little bit cloudy. Certainly not very clear. I don't think that's a problem for the scale to be honest. Um, be interesting to see how it actually fits to the fuselage. It doesn't quite look the right shape. Uh, then we've got decals, which are nicely printed. Um, it is a Saab here. These are printed by Tetmod. Some very nice in, um, marking options here with uh, the lettering, numbering, um, very nice uh, insignia here for the wings as well, the roundels. And um, there are a few options that break it up a little bit. And there is quite a bit of stencil data as well included in this, as well as complete parts there for the um, wings. There is a separate sheet for stencil markings and um, placement of the decals. So that's uh, pretty useful. And um, just gives you an example there of how everything's meant to line up when it's on the ground. 
And then getting into the kit parts, now I've not come across this before on any other model. Um, it's a very rough texture. Uh, it's hard to explain. It's um, almost like it's pitted. It certainly is not a smooth texture. I don't know why that would be compared to the inside, which is sort of smooth. Um, and um, it is recessed panel lines and details, but they are quite they are quite um, sort of blurred and, and faint and not very strong. Uh, so I don't know. It might be worth sanding this down and rescribing. I don't know if you can hear. I don't know if that really tells you. It's certainly not smooth like most models are. It's, it's very noticeable, and it probably would be under paint as well. Uh, but as you go across, um, it's all basic stuff. There's a little bit of flash. It's obviously like a short run kit um, and um, pretty low quality. However, it does, you know, the, the details are there and there's quite a lot of parts um, to give, bring the details. So I'm sure when it goes together, it will be quite a nice model. So that's one half of the fuselage with the upper parts of the wing. And then the other sprue is the under side of the wing and the end and the belly of the fuselage the other fuselage half the engine cowling there which is nice one piece uh, rudder horizontal rear stabilizers and um, cockpit floor there as well as the engine which you can see the sort of tub seat as well which is all it's all very nice it's no problem it's you know it's basic but it's, it's all there but um, it does all suffer from this texture which is uh, a little bit strange um, but I'm sure it's uh, you can work around that um, the panel lines are probably as close to being to scale sort of thickness as possible. You can barely see them, you have to look for them, which I feel is probably what panel lines would look like on a 70 second aircraft if you'd see them at all. Uh, but that's open to debate. If you want um, deeper panel lines you could uh, go over them with a, with a scriber quite easily, at least you've got the outlines there. And that completes the inbox review of this kit, so a uh, very interesting little model. Um, the company is uh, based in Poland so um, I don't know if they're affiliated with anyone else um, and there you can see some of the marking options so so here you can see that's two of them that's a J22B, J22A uh, it's all very colourful as you can see the red yellow it's um, quite nice and um, then the other side that's probably the most eye-catching one here the hand painted um, recognition stripes on the underwing and the fuselage as well as uh, so this is a B and an A and you it's uh, I do like the fact where you got the red and the blue and um, with the basic olive drab and um, grey underside colour it's quite contrasting it's, it's quite nice so it should make for a colourful little model and, um, and something a little bit different to add to your collection